Good morning, guys. Uh, this is going to be part four of the Lanai deck build. Dogs are just chilling. <laughs> so basically, I'm just going to be picking up right where I left off. Uh, I got more material now so I can finish the section where I was short, which is in the middle here, the uh, cross joicing. Uh, as you can see, I rearranged stuff a little bit. Uh, I'll show a better picture of that. But anyway, this is going to be part four of the Lanai deck build. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe. And let's get to work. So the dogs are uh, really enjoying laying out here. <laughs> uh, I cannibalized the old deck or the old porch. I basically took all of the um, pieces that were on there. And, uh, okay, I guess they heard mom, so they ran in. Uh, and I put all those pieces there. Those are actually screwed down. So we have like a little spot to sit. Um, this is all my material that's going to be used for the cross bracing, the rest of the joists that are going to go here, and then also putting in blocking. So on the middle of each of these sections, I'm going to put blocking going down, you know, kind of alternating on the center line all the way down, just to make this super stable. Um, another thing I'm going to be working on in this video is I'm going to start putting the 2x4 piece all the way around. Uh, I'm going to start painting this as long as it's not raining. Um, and then I may get to the point in this video where I start cutting these down and working on the uh, horizontal uh, beams. So we'll see how far I get. But for right now, um, I'm going to finish the joists in the center there. Okay, so that section is done. I've gone and I marked the center, if you can see those lines there, on both of these sections. So, mark the center lines all the way there. So now what I'm going to start doing is cutting blocking. It's going to go in here and then basically I'm just going to alternate it on either side of that center line as I go through. And then, of course, later on once I remove this section and this section, then I will add the blocking to these parts. But for right now, it's fine. <laughs> okay, so my progress so far, I got uh, that section done, this section done. I'm getting started on this section here. This one, of course, I'll be able to go all the way to the back. Um, these sections here, I'm going to wait until I end up removing this part. So, just about done with the blocking. Okay, well, I'm done with all that blocking. But as you can see, it's raining now, so I think I'm done working on the deck for a little while. All right, uh, it's a little bit of a nicer day today. It's been a couple days since I last did uh, any work on the deck. So I started adding in these two by fours. Um, basically what this is, is when I put my picture frame on here, that's gonna give me a little bit more, uh, I guess, space to attach it to. So the picture frame, is five and a half inches which is basically you know a three quarter by one or by six is what they call it for the tracks um, so it'll end up sticking out about a half inch past this and then it'll get cut in around and then the other pieces of tracks will meet up with it here so i have this all the way around on the outside all the way down the front and the other side uh, for right now i'm leaving this spot blank because and same on the other side too because this is where there's going to be stairs um, so in the immediate future there probably I don't know if there will be stairs on this side or not um, but we what we do plan to do and you know down the road is we're going to add another like a 12 by 12 deck lower here that'll be uncovered and then it's going to be the same on the other side. It'll be a lower deck, so it'll be like one step, maybe two steps down. Uh, so it'll be a 12 by 12 on that side too. And both of those decks will be uncovered. 
And then on this side, I want to end up putting, you know, like barbecue grill or fire pit or something like that. I don't know. Um, and on that side, I'll just have, you know, a couple chairs, you know, for like, if my wife wants to lay in the sun, she can do it. <laughs> um, so that deck will eventually come out here about three feet past the corner of the house and then there will be stairs going down this way. And then eventually we'll do a, a uh, you know, like a sidewalk or a rock path that will connect back with the sidewalk on the other side of the house. And then it's going to be similar on the other side. So there will be, a, you know, two step down, a lower deck, and then a two step down, something like that. So um, this, I guess, is ready to, I'm going to start throwing some paint on this. Um, maybe today maybe not I, I don't know i'll see if it you know looks like it's gonna not rain <laughs> um but it, that's the next step i'm gonna start painting these outside boards which i will probably just show you that because watching video of painting is pretty boring and then i'm gonna start measuring out these posts so that i can get them cut and then start working on the horizontal beams all right so it's kind of a rainy day today I can't really work on the deck itself so uh, what I'm going to start doing now is prepping the horizontal beams so these will be the beams that are going to go on the top of the deck you know on the posts that are already installed um, I have three 16 foot beams these are going to be the two sides that are, they're actually gonna stick out four feet past the deck and that'll be for the roof line. Uh, and then the third one is gonna be the ridge beam, which is basically the top of the roof. Um, so that one is not gonna get put on for a while. Um, I do need to prep two of the 16 footers um, to get ready to put them on and to you know connect them into the house. What I'm working on right now is gonna be the three pieces that are in between. Um, so there's four uh, vertical beams on the front of the porch. So I'm basically making the piece that goes from the left to the second beam, second beam to the third beam, and then the third beam to the right beam. Um, so I went up there and I got my measurements. And basically, so it looks like I'm off by three quarters of an inch from one side to the other. Um, so... The beam on the left, if you're standing in the yard looking at the porch, is 94 inches. The middle beam is 85 and three quarters. And then the right beam is 93 and a quarter. Um, so these are basically going to go from the post edge because the 16 foot post is going to be sticking out. So this one will just be butted up against it. Um, that'll be the 94. And then these will go halfway over the vertical beam, vertical beam, and then butted up against the right uh, porch beam. So that's what I'm doing. Um, cutting these beams up, I'm going to router the edges and start getting some paint on them so that they'll be ready to go up. All right, so the edges are cleaned up, or the corners, uh, getting ready to paint this, set up the uh, my tarp over here, because I'm going to go ahead and start painting this wall too. I know that's part not part of this series, but I'm going to do it anyway, since I'm painting and got to wait. So, <laughs> all right, so back up front. So I've actually tried to paint this two different times. <laughs> Um, where it was sunny, so I started painting, and then like 30 minutes later it started raining. So it washed off a lot of the paint, as you can see like on the end here, some spots on the top. This is after the second coat getting rinsed off, but yeah, so I guess I'm just going to have to wait. And yeah, here's a bunch that got washed off here. Anyway, I'm just going to have to wait. <laughs> until I have a full on sunny day so that I can uh, touch all that up. So what I'm going to start working on now is getting these posts, uh, getting the height figured out. And the way that I plan to do that is I'm going to take the screws out of the panel that's right here, the roof panel, the metal, 
And what I'm going to do is basically lift it up. So I'll prop it up, you know, with a piece of wood. Um, and then I'm going to use my screed. I have a 12 foot magnesium screed used for, uh, you know, uh, concrete, but it's perfectly straight. It's 12 feet long. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it in here, which it's kind of dark. Uh, I'm basically going to run it in there right to the bottom of that uh, two by six, if that'll focus. And I'm going to clamp it onto these two pieces. And then I'm going to put my level on it. So I'll have basically the point here. I'll have it level going out. It will be clamped on and then I'll be able to put lines on here. And then that's where I'm going to need to cut them off. And then that will also give me my mark here where I'll cut out my five and a half by five and a half hole so that the six by six will slide in there. So that's the plan. Hopefully it doesn't um, start pouring again. Man, this roof is, needs to be replaced. It will be eventually, another thing on the list. So uh, anyways, I'm up here, um, I'm at the, basically the first beam post by the uh, stairs. So what I'm gonna have to do is pull these nails out so that this part right here can be propped up high enough that I can get my measurement and uh, find out where the beam's gonna be. Um, ultimately, I think I may end up just cutting this section of metal out where the beam will end up going through. Um, just because, again, this is all gonna be you know, temporary, eventually this roof is going to get replaced. So, um, yeah, that's further down the road. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this uh, opened up, get it propped up, and then get my magnesium screed up here so that I can get some uh, marks on these posts. All right, so I cut this section out. Um, I tried to bend it up, but it was too rigid, so it just wasn't raising enough. Um, of course, it's starting to rain. I have my magnesium screed here, and I got the first clamp over there, kind of where I think it's going to go. But I'm going to stop because it's starting to pour. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> so I have a clamp up there that's about at the right height. So uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the metal screed through the hole, put it right up to the spot there, put my level on it, clamp it, clamp it adjust the clamp so that it's everything's level and then I can make my marks um, and then that'll give me my lines to cut on both of these I'll mark them all the way around and then I'll go down on that side I'll have to do the exact same thing cut a hole in the roof put the screed in there get my marks um, what I'm really trying to do right now is to get both of my marks on these outside poles so that I could put a chalk line across and get my marks on these two and then get them cut. Because the three pieces I'm painting right now are gonna be the three pieces that go here. Um, these ones I haven't even started painting yet, so focusing on those right now. Okay, got that lined up inside. That side's clamped, as you can see. This side over here is still quite a bit high, so I'll probably have to do a couple adjustments back and forth until I get this level and lined up with that um, two by six blocking piece. So let me get this set up and uh, then I'll be back. And there you go. So this is totally level. It is lined up right with the bottom of that two by six. I know it looks like it's above from this angle, but the two by six is angled. So it's lined up and then this side is clamped over there. So now what I can do is I can put my marks on these two posts and then mark it all the way around and it'll be ready to cut. Okay, so I got my marks. Got that mark over there. Uh, I'll just transfer them all the way around and then these will be ready to cut. Now I need to go do all the same thing down on that side. All right, so now I have this side marked and I have the roof cut out, as you can see back there. So now, um, I need to pull a string across so I can mark these middle two posts and then uh, go switch out the blade in my saw from a metal blade 
metal cutting blade to a wood cutting blade and get these things cut. I probably am going to have to put like trash bags or something over this because I don't want it soaking up water. And I don't think I'll be able to really paint today because it's raining so much off and on. We'll see. This afternoon it's not supposed to be raining, so maybe I'll get a chance to paint them this afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I have everything marked now. All the posts are marked. So now, um, I think it's getting ready to start raining again, but uh, the next step is gonna be cutting these off. So I'll get set up for that and I guess wait for it to stop raining. Being covered in sawdust is the best. <laughs> Nacho Libre. Alrighty then. So, everything is cut. Let's see all my pieces. So, it has cleared up. It is kind of sunny right now, so I'm gonna take advantage of this and I'm gonna try and get a couple coats of paint on the top of these posts before any more rain comes. Okay, that is two coats on the top of all these posts and the sun is still shining. So that's good. <laughs> so I think I'm getting pretty close to wrapping this video up. Um, I was able to get a little bit more paint on the rail, get that touched up, so that looks pretty good now. Um, this is all gonna also get a coat of exterior house paint on it because this is just a like a sealer primer type paint uh, and then it'll get a coat of um, you know outside house paint <laughs> exterior house paint um, but what I'm gonna work on now is I'm gonna start placing the beams on the front here so the middle one is going to get screwed in from the top um, the corners I have a little 90 degree bracket that will get mounted there because that post is only going to be going to the edge of this one because this 16 footer is gonna extend out that way. Same on the other side. So these will get screws down in. I have 10 inch um, headlocks that are gonna be going down into those. And then uh, I have the same uh, hardware, I guess, the Simpson hardware. So these will end up getting a T on it, on both of these, on both sides, inside and out. This will get the, the 90 degree here, and then once that beam is placed, it'll get the T on the outside. This one will get the T on the inside and outside. So it's more of a decorative um, kind of look. It's the same feature as, you know, those base pieces that I did down there. It has the same little end design and uses those same uh, fasteners. So let me go get those and uh, we'll get these going. Okay, I am starting with the middle section. Um, I already marked out the center lines on the top of my posts. So the way that I measured these, of course I measured at the deck level because I want the deck level to be the same, the measurement at the deck level to be the same at the top. So this will get placed on the center lines up there and then screwed in and then I'll work my way out to the other two pieces from there. So if you're wondering how I'm doing this, <laughs> I set it up there first, balanced, and then I will pull it over to this one and get it um, squared up and centered and then uh, get it screwed in. Yeah, working by yourself. All right, so I repositioned the ladder right at the post and then you can see my center line here. So I basically gotta bring this over to that line. I'm gonna use clamps to make sure that it stays in position with the one below it, you know, clamp both of them together. And then I'll have to do it on that side too before I screw anything because 
I don't want it to be, you know, twisted. This is pretty cool, exciting. Okay, this one is secured. As you can see, it's right on the line there, center line. That's how I was using the clamp that I was talking about to make sure that it's centered. And I got two uh, of the screws down in there, the headlocks. So these are 10 inch headlocks. So that way they go at least four inches into this, the vertical post. So should, should be super secure. Plus it will end up getting the T on this once I get both pieces in place. All right, so this corner is fully locked in. And then when the six by six 16 footer comes from the house out to here, it'll fit in there just like that. But of course it's gonna stick out, you know, about three and a half, four feet. So looking good. All right, first T-brackets on. So two of the horizontal beams up. Uh, now I'm gonna move on to the last one over there. Get this wrapped up. Um, there's also gonna be a T on the inside, I believe. My wife wants to look at it first to see if she wants them just on the outside or on both sides, so we'll see. So I'm gonna get that beam up and uh, get that one done. I got it sitting there already. Dang. Look at that view. Oh wait, <laughs> that's a demolitious channel. <laughs> so everything's up. Uh, we decided to put the T brackets on the inside and the outside because it's just, we like how it looks. So that is done. So that is gonna wrap up this video. What are you dogs doing? So at least there was a good amount of sun towards the afternoon. I think it's probably about four o'clock now. So, but man, that looks good. Looks awesome, super sturdy. So that is gonna be it. All right guys, well, that's gonna wrap up this video. Um, I think got quite a bit done, I mean, this video was stretched out over a long time um, before a couple of days ago. I don't think I even worked on the deck for like two weeks because um, I had done videos already and they were scheduled to post. Um, yeah, I mean, I even I went to the mainland for a week to go visit family. So, um, yeah, but nice to get back to it. Um, this is all done. Uh, I did get a call from Home Depot, so the Trex is here. It's going to be delivered this week upcoming. Today is Saturday, so um, it'll be delivered this week. So most likely on the next video, uh, we'll be starting on the Trex. Um, I have to, of course, get the 16-foot 6 by 6s uh, painted and installed. Um, I need to build a set of stairs. Uh, a new set of stairs that's the right spacing 
um, and also is going to be to accept the treks. So the, tr the stairs will actually be treks as well. Um, it'll be the same as what is going to be used for the picture frame, which is the treks with no grooves on the side. It's just the straight boards. Um, but yeah, I mean, I have the tape, the butyl tape, um, so that's going to go on top of all the joists. Super race car. <laughs> anyway, uh, I have all the butyl tape. Um, so I pretty much this week, I will have everything I need to continue. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to end up being one more video or two more. I mean, I know down the road, once I start on the roof, that's going to end up being another video, but that's going to be a ways down the road. Right now, the focus is finishing all the beams and posts and the deck. And then uh, the roofing is going to be, um, I don't know when that's going to be. <laughs> so in the meantime, I'm probably going to end up extending a tarp from that roof out to here. Uh, I'll probably have a slope on it so all the rain drains off, you know, this way into the yard. Um, and I may end up having to do that before because I need to keep this wood dry so that the butyl tape will stick to it, the, um, the decking tape. Um, so yeah, I may end up doing that soon before the Trex actually shows up just so I know that it's dry for a few days. Um, but yeah, that's it. So... Uh, this is part four, yeah, part four <laughs> of the uh, Hawaii Lanai deck build. So thanks for watching as always. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video. Aloha.